I wanted to give you a few tips on red flags. Now, red flags can show up in uh, romantic relationships and also in friendships. You know, when we are attracting a new friend, we may, you know, be concerned. Is this somebody that is trustworthy? Is this somebody that will criticize me? Is this somebody that might be a narcissist? So here's a couple of ways to tell if the person that you are with is deserving of your respect, your love, your heart. Okay, number one, if they ask you to give something up, whether it's a pet, friendships, family relationships, a workout, or a job, anybody that tells you, especially early on, you need to give that up so you can spend more time with me they're not concerned about you. They're likely a narcissist. Number two, if they send you a text and then follow it up with an angry, why haven't you responded to my text? They're controlling. Someone who is a control freak is likely obsessive compulsive. They may have anger issues. They may have issues with alcohol or drugs. And so these are things you want to pay attention to. Here's another one. If every time you go out with them or you meet them, there's always copious amounts of alcohol, shots, shooters, margaritas. I mean, one drink once in a while is one thing, but if you don't drink and every time you go out with them, they're expected you to consume all kinds of alcohol, that's a red flag because that person may be an addicted person. Do you want to have that kind of person in your life? Let's see, what else? Ah. Someone that shoots down your ideas, or as I call it, peas in your Cheerios. Someone who criticizes you, makes you feel bad, makes you feel triggered or angry inside. That's not a good sign. If every time you have a conversation with them, your ire gets up, your anger is triggered, that is a red flag. If somebody is triggering anger, anger in you every time you see them, this is not somebody you want to be with. So there are some red flags you can live with and some you don't want to live with, but these are some you don't want to live with because you will likely end up in an abusive situation that is extremely controlling, manipulative, gaslighting, love bombing, and all things narcissistic. Hope this helps. Have a fabulous rest of your day.